these are the most expensive shoes in the world. These shoes were actually worn by Kanye West, and these shoes were gifted only 24 pairs ever made by Travis Scott. These sneakers were game worn by Kobe Bryant, and these are special edition signed by Scotty Pippen. We went to the most secret sneaker store in the entire world. This spot was so secret we could not give out the location or show the front of the store. Celebrities like Drake, Kylie Jenner, and even Devin Booker have been here to shop for sneakers. First, he showed us all of the clothing in the store, and let me tell you, if you are a hype beast, this is your dream closet. We have like a few of these jackets. The Gucci North Face. Unreleased pieces. Never released. That's my favorite piece right there, bro. Louis Vuitton Supreme hoodie. That's crazy. He had pieces that I have never seen before in my life. Supreme overalls, bro. I've never seen those before. Pretty much every single Supreme box logo I can think of was in this store. The Mike Tyson tee. Freaking Elmo doll on there. I mean, you could literally find anything you wanted. Next, he walked us through the aisles and aisles and aisles of crazy high beat shoes that they had. Nike Air Presto. This is like one of my favorite shoes. Oh my gosh, I remember when I got my Sakai's, bro. Everybody wants these. You know that these go for a lot of money. The Unions in dead sock condition. Supreme Jordan 5s. The Green 6s, brand new. Oh, with Spike Lee on there. If you guys know, you know. Jordan 11 Space Jam, off-white. Ooh, okay. Kobe's right here in dead stock condition. Some more Kobe's. Air Jordan 4 Unions. The box came out super sick. Oh my gosh, the paper is sick on this as well. Damn. In this box, I'm guessing they have like, oh, yo, what? These are so dope. Supreme Mayfly. It has bear brick in it. Bro, Nikes, but from a crazy designer. Supreme Vans collab. Bam. Cheetah print. The Supreme Timberlands. Nice little box right there. Oh my gosh. I've never... Wait, hold on. Yo, that is sick. Oh, I would love for hucking these out. The Supreme Coleman collab right here. And behind it, the Honda Supreme dirt bike right here. There was every single pair that I've ever seen since I was a sneakerhead. They had every single Nike collab I could think of was in this store. And now the moment that you guys have been waiting for, the top secret bolt. I don't know if you want to share this, Dre, but like how much are we like around right now, bro? There's definitely uh, millions around you right now. You know what's up with these, right? The what's what the, the dunks? The what the dunks, bro. They're literally like in the fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 mark right now. You know, special ones signed by Futura for love or money. You wanted to know one time what my favorite shoe is in here. Yeah, your favorite right? shoe in here. The Paris Dunk. So sick. This is to me the most legendary, the sickest, illest. Nike Dunk SB. We had 33 of these before. Three of these How much right now. How would all 33 be worth? Like almost $3 million. Oh, gosh. Supreme Dunk Highs. So cool. What would somebody sell Those something blue. like this for, bro? These are like 6K each. The Pigeons. Dude, these are so iconic, bro. In the US, everyone was ready to, to be out there and try to buy. Buying one pair of these was like winning the lottery back right, then. Right, right. Basically, it was the first time shoes started going for 2,000 bucks after retail in America. Yeah. So, so you would say that this right here definitely changed the shoe game forever. This oh, shoe yeah. Right here? Yeah. Crazy. Now, the cool thing is that Travis actually is the big catalyst that made dunks go crazy. Right. So you already know what these are. And you know why most of these don't have original boxes? Because they were scrapped by Nike because they uh, you know, they got a cease and desist from New Line Cinema. What is the, what is the market going for on these right now? These are like $25,000 $25,000 so far. The Stussy Dunks. These are beautiful. The little ice cream reference like Neapolitan mm -hmm. with the cherry on top. These are actually like a pair of grapes but made for Will Smith. So these were like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air player exclusives. These go for over $10,000 right now. Here's gonna be a cool Air Force One. Ooh. The PlayStation. Yo, what? See, that one got you thrilled, what? right? <laughs> yeah, bro. How did they, did they release ever or? No, there was just a, a promo that was done by the Sony people at the time. So basically damn. they did the lobster series. When they released the blue lobster, they came in like this little lobster box. Oh, damn. So the shoes came in wrapped like if you're getting lobsters yeah. from a- uh, That is so crazy. take them out the bag. I've never seen anything like this packaging. So they came with the neon laces what? in when they came out like this. But the yeah. regular pairs didn't come with neon. I have the thing that they put on the lobsters so they don't chomp. This is the original one. Oh, the 1.0. Not that mesh, but right. like with the with this material that he loves to use that they don't use on those shoes anymore. And these go for probably like 15 to 20k. Now. These recently retro, but yeah. this was like the Watch the Throne, the bronze. But yeah. these are the Watch the Thrones, like the real, exact, real ones. You know, the ones that never released, that were only produced for a bronze mm -hmm. and family. Man. Statue of Liberty 
LeBrons. People would still pay a pretty penny for those, about $10,000. Moving along. Oh, we're getting into the case now. We're getting into the case now. You know what this is, right? Yeah, that's a flu game. Okay, well, you're probably wondering why is there just a flu game in the middle of all these? Exactly. So the flu game was the game that he played in a pair of shoes mm -hmm. and yeah, had the flu see. and it was against the Utah Jazz in the finals. You know, that pair was sold on an auction. But what we have here is the locker room pair. The exact pair that was hanging in the locker room just in case he needed to put on a fresh pair. No way. Right? So yeah, these were okay. mics. Yeah. These, these were the goats. These were the goats. That's crazy, Sitting in the locker bro. room. And obviously there was, it was only him playing then. So these were not made for anyone else. Yeah. But I never thought I'd be holding my shoe in my hand, but hey, you never know with Dre. This is a crazy pair. Tell so us what, about this what looks like just a, a Jordan 11 mm -hmm. Concord low is actually lasered with a Kobe motif. Yo. And yes, these were worn by none other than Kobe himself. Oh my gosh. Kobe wore this pair of shoes. Yes, sir. Size 14. <laughs> Just worn a couple times. R.I.P. Shout out to Kobe, man. Bro, what's at the bottom right there? There's like a signature. Oh yeah, that's um, Kelly Oubre. He had his like uh, PEs that he had because he signed with Converse and he made this cool like cheetah print. That's fire. And there it goes. Shout out Kelly Oubre. So these were signed by Hall of Famer Scotty Pippen. Oh he, my God. When he came in, we had to have him sign the Pippins. Yeah, man. You know, with the, the, the Supreme, Supreme ones, Pippins. bro. This right here, bro. This There's no price on this. So the cool thing is Scotty was here and then he was about to be on ESPN. So if mm -hmm. you go look for it, you'll find and he's wearing a black blazer with mm -hmm. the black uh, box logo, Supreme box logo on it. That's me, I got him on that. Dang. You know, we talked about Kobe Bryant in Game Worn Shoes, original Jordan 8s that Kobe wore, played against MJ in, dunked on, and was helping him up, helping him up off the floor with his old original first type signature because he changed it later. So to me, these are like super priceless. Yeah, no, priceless, bro. Yeah, you, see, you look pretty stunned. I'm, I'm stunned, but I think that's the craziest shoe that we've seen so far. Here you go. These are Travis Scott, Dude. Purple Fours, and the Mochas. Damn. Travis Scott Mochas. These are a lot different, uh -huh. and this is like a rarer sample that was made that the boy uh, gifted to me, so. The boy? Like, as Tra in Travis? Travis yeah, Travis, Travis gifted, gifted you these? Yeah, Travis so those are my size, yeah. gifted these to him. I've never even seen these. I've never even seen these, bro. Dre's the goat, man. Shout out Project Blitz for having us, bro. This is nuts. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shout out Eminem. Just performed at the Super Bowl. These are Chris Paul Jordan 4s of 101. Yo, 101. 101 sample that he wore. Chris, you gotta release these, bro. You Actually, know? please do not release these. <laughs> <laughs> do not release them. On this side, we have some like crazy heat worn by Kanye samples. <sighs> so you've seen the Grammy pair go Grammy for 1.8 million. So this is just another performance. And this is an unreleased color. Oh my gosh. Both worn by Ye. This is uh, the first time that the Zen type color was unveiled. And as you can see, they're actually different. They're actually different from the release. They are, dude. Kanye wore these right here, guys. This is crazy. Yo, leave a like right now. So this is also Ye's yeah. first Nike collab that he made. First for ever Nike? dropout. Damn. I'm sure you've seen these. All, of course, bro. Like, Everybody wants these, bro. Red October's right here. You've seen this a lot is... of people with fake ones. Yeah. You've yeah. seen a lot of real ones. Yeah. But, you know, it's always cool to bring these out, right? Here's another Ooh. crazy Chris Paul. And you love the Jordan 11. I love the Jordan 11. So bro. I know you're going to pull that out and blow your head. Right there. <laughs> dude. These are the first time that they brought out the bands. Oh, dude. These are worth a lot of money, right? Because mm -hmm. it has the X on the back. Yeah. So these are the, the first ones. That's so sick. Yeah. And the crazy thing is they were only released at outlets. At outlets? Yeah. Cool, right? And look at the material. Crazy. It's like literally like super premium leather. So this is like a very rare Jordan 4. Not fire red. Mm -hmm. It's actually navy. It's Olympic Jordan 4 that was made for players on the Olympic team. This size 13 set of three is for MJ. Well, he didn't play in them, but they are yeah, gonna make still. them in his size, yeah. These are the Transformer 5s, and they're actually 3M, so all the, the grid on there. So sick, yeah. Now a Transformer uh, 5 exists because Mark Wahlberg's definitely family Jordan. Oh my gosh, my gosh. This is the Cactus Jack PlayStation Travis Scott Nike Dunk Lows. Literally only 24 pairs exist. 24 pairs? Yeah, it's amazing. Friends and family only. <laughs> no way, dude. I believe they're made in the USA. They're literally, there's no China tag and it looks like they're made up at Nike. So I'll let you oh take gosh, it out. Bro. Be careful because uh, these are quite a bit Pretty penny there. I'm literally shaking right now, bro. I I hadn't had dream shoes until I saw these, bro. 